In this video, we are going to see how to do some simple modifications in our data. For example, how to order our variables in our data set, how to add value levels, how to add variable labels. So these kind of things, okay? So one of the first thing we should know is that when we have loaded our data, which we can see here, then actually we can also see our data editor from here. If I click here, you can see this is our data. If we want, we can change any value. So we can make it 35, we can make it maybe 48, you know? So here we can make changes in our data, but maybe we don't want to change it. I just wanted to say that it is possible. So this is where we can make changes in our data, okay? But then this is a data editor browse. If I click it here, we cannot really make any changes. Okay, we can only see. So I'm trying to make changes. I'm pressing numbers, different numbers, but as you can see, we can't make any changes. So this is a good thing for us to have a look on data. If you want to just have a look on data or after creating a new variable or after manipulating something in the data, if we want to see how our data look like then it is a good idea to go to browse and then we can just see if the variables are added and the changes we have made if that really happened. Okay. And as you can see here, to replace any value in, in, our, in our data, we can use this command replace. So here read the value 34 should be replaced in one. Okay. So if I want to make this 100, so I will just say, make it 100. Okay, so the first value, the first value of our data uh, read will be now 100. So if I run this, you will see that if I open my data here again, so you will see we have it 100. Okay. I can just minimize it and then I can change it back to 34. Okay. If you want to make a change in the 100th data point, okay, so let's say uh, if I go down, let's say I, I make a change in the 50th data point. So in 50, we have 50, okay? So I want to make it 100. So what I will do is I will make it 100 in 50. And then if I go back in our data view, so you see this, var this value changed to 100. So this is how actually we can also make changes in our data. So I will make change it back to 50 to keep the original way of our original value in our data. Okay. So sometimes we want to order our variables. So here our order is ID, the female race and SES. So let's say if we want to change the order, you can come here, change order of variables. Okay, so here we can select what order we want. We want read. We're in the school type, we want female, maybe. This is how we want. If we click here, change, you see the order changed here, okay? So if we want to make a different order, now actually we can use this command. So we can change it back, for instance, before it was ID, and then we had female, uh, and after that, what we had? ID, female, I think then we had maybe race, say if we change it back then it would look like this okay so this is how you can make changes in the order of the variables and then we can also make some uh, let's say in the variables manager if i want to update so here if i want to update the names of the variables if i go to variables manager here we have female right i want to make it gender so i can make the change here gender okay and then if I click here, apply, you will see that it has been changed. Okay. Just to, uh, if I minimize it here and here, this was the command rename female gender. So with the rename command, we can actually change name of any variable. Okay. So let's say, uh, if you want to make any other changes, for instance, if we want to make race to background now as soon as we will hit it you will see that here the race will change to background right as you can see here but maybe we don't want to have this change so we can just make it back to race actually okay background and race so we change it back to race we can also add 
labels to our uh, variables. For instance, if you remember, if you have watched the previous videos in the earlier videos, I also showed you how to import data from a CSV format file. So when you format, when you import your data from a CSV format, you will not really have the properties of the values, okay? So then often it could be a good idea to actually add labels, okay? If I, if I, if I just clear my window here, if I clear it, and then if I use the CSV format in shit using hs0.csv. So this was the command. So as you can see now, we don't have any value label. We don't have any variable label. So now I can go to variables manager and we don't have any labels. So now what I can do is I can go here, manage and I can create label, okay. And then here I can say, let's say this is gender label. Value one, we call it female. Add and value zero, we call it male. Add and okay and close. And here now I have to select it from here. Okay, and then apply. So this is my value label now. Okay, so here also for the variable label, I can write gender of the RTC pants. Okay, and if I click apply, so I will also have the label of the variable. Okay, so now if I close it and if I go to my data editor, you see here I see male and female. Okay, so the value is zero when it's male, the value is two when it's uh, the value is one when it's female. Similarly, I can change for a school type here. A school type one means public, a school type two means private. So here we see the numbers, but we don't see the value of these numbers. So to do that, we can go again to here and variables manager, and then we go to school type here. Uh, here we can also add type of school, okay? And then here we can go yeah, first we have to apply because we have added the uh, change there. So and then we go create level. Here, let's say we call it S. You can give any na any name. You can call it a school type. Okay, whatever you want to want to say. You can give any level name. So the value one will be public. Okay, and then the value two is going to be private. Add and then okay and then close and here we have to select school type for this variable here and then apply so you see this applies here and then if we close and then we go back here you see we instead of the one and two we have the public and private here right so this is how actually we can make changes in our variable labels and value labels and for all the things that we have been doing you know you see we these were the codes so this, this command here, label, variable, the school type, the name we have here, and then here type of school. So this is the command to change the name of the, to, to update the label of the variable. And then again, this is the command to update the values. So label define. The change is that here we have variable and here we have define. So define is for the values. So now we are saying, okay, define, we, call this variable uh, value list, we call this value list school type and where one is public and two is private, okay? So this is how we change the value labels. Here we said that, that the label, the, the label, the values for this variable school TYP will be taken from this list of values that we created, okay? So this is the list of value that we have created. For instance, if we go here and if we go to variables manager here, we will see that this is the list. So value label list. So we have created two, G and school type. We apply G here and school type here. So that's what we are saying here, okay? So these are some ways of uh, updating the labels and values and all these things. Sometimes we may would like to also create some new, new, variables so for that we can use the command gen okay so let's say gen we call it score equals to we write read 
plus right plus math. So we are creating a new variable, okay, which we call score, and uh, which will take the sum of all these three. So if we go our data view here, we can see the score, okay. So we can also create a new variable. We could use and we could go to this place here to create a new variable from the user interface. It will be more or less the same approach. So here we will uh, have to give the name. So for instance, let's say, yeah, whatever name is core, you'd give it here. And then here you would express and ex you will you will set the expression. Okay, for instance, to here we click create and then here we could take uh, breed plus write. Oops, we have to select read plus write, then plus uh, let's say math. Okay, then click here and then again plus. Okay, then we click science, then again here plus social science. Okay. Let's say, yeah, let's say, okay. And as we already created one, let's say we call it a score two. And then if we submit, we'll see that we have created a score, but here we have five missing values, okay? So if we go here, we'll see that we have five missing values. Yeah, the score two, but here we have five missing values. That's because one of the variables had some missing values. Okay, and one of the variables like this one, science, it has some missing values. So that those are the places where we have the missing values now. Now let's say based on these values, we can also create a dummy variable or like a categorical variable. Let's say we want to create a variable which we call pass. Okay. So if one student scored, if one student scored, let's say 115 total in this score, which is the sum of the three exam scores, then we call it pass, otherwise we call it fail, okay? So let's say we call pass a new variable equals to one, and then if score is greater than equal to 150, okay? So then we have created a new variable, which we call pass. If we want to have a look, up sorry. If we want to have a look, we can have a look here. So then we see that this is our variable that has been created, which is pass. But now we have created some missing values, right? Because we only gave the command to create the pass. We didn't say what to, what happens when it fails. So to control for that one, what we can do is we can say replace pass equal to zero if pass equal to equal to dot okay so we are saying that make the value of the variable pass zero if the variable the value is there dot okay if pass equals to currently dot make it zero and press enter so 82 real changes has been made and if you look here in our data window you see we have zero and one right great so here you see these are some of the options that you can use actually to make some manipulation in the data okay uh, if you want to drop any of the variables from uh, your data set you can just write drop uh, let's say read and then suddenly we'll see the read will drop from here okay gone okay uh, sometimes let's say you want to drop something if uh, let's say we call it drop uh, gender equals to zero so then from our data set we will remove all the observation for which we have gender equal to zero that is we will have only left with the female uh, observation okay so now the problem is i forget to put if so drop we have to add if if gender equals to equals to zero okay so now 91 observations are deleted so if we go here and have a look in our data you see all of them are female okay 